Today, we're prepping for what I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow. Grab yourself a tri-tip out of your freezer. This particular one is an Oregon Roosevelt Elk that I got from the Land of the Free series last year with Born and Raised. I'm gonna let it thaw overnight. Step two, gotta build a dry rub. We have garlic salt, onion powder, paprika, salt, pepper, and then some brown sugar. That's really the basis of my dry rub. You can choose to mix it in a bowl all together, or if you want to, which is what I prefer, sprinkle it all on your tri-tip or chosen piece of meat after this has been thawed and is ready to hit the grill. A couple recommendations. Number one, once your tri-tip or roast or whatever that is, is thawed out, let it sit at room temperature for about an hour before you put it on the grill. During that time, you can put the dry rub on the meat and just kind of massage it into both the top and the bottom side. That way hopefully you'll get a little bit more flavor out of whatever choice meat you're about ready to throw on the grill. That's it, it's that simple. I'm in my kitchen and I'm trying something I've never tried before. Casey and I both took our meat to B&D Meats somewhere in Southern Oregon. And he cut it up into burger, steaks, roasts, and something that I've never had a butcher do before with wild game. That right there is a Roosevelt elk tri-tip. It looks incredible. I've never cooked one before, so I'm getting ready to throw this thing on the camp chef. When we were in Oregon for the steelhead trip, uh, Cody just bought a few of those tri-tips you can get at Costco. I'm sure you guys have seen them before and or used them before, but they are delicious. And we're gonna start it on low smoke. Cody tells me that the way he cooked his tri-tip tri he likes to smoke it for about 30 minutes. Then he will turn up the heat. Right now we've got it on low smoke. Once it smokes for 30 minutes, we're gonna turn it up to 350. Then we're gonna use the meat thermometer. Try to achieve an internal temperature of around 115 degrees. And then I will probably use the Camp Chef sear box right here to get it finished off. From there, we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. Then we're gonna cut it across the grain. We're gonna enjoy a delicious piece of wild game. So I'm gonna put this on. We will see how it turns out. It's been about 30 minutes. Sitting on low smoke. Give you guys a quick peek. Just trying to hit it with a hint of smoke for some flavor. And now I'm going to turn up the temperature. And we are gonna cook it at 350. On well, the Camp Chef, woodwind, super easy. Rotate the dial to 350 and then just wait for the temperature to start slowly creeping up. This is a meat probe thermometer, and it actually just goes right through here on the side. Feed it through there. I'm just gonna put it in the thick part of the tri-tip. And then I can basically hit the probe temp, and it tells you right now the meat is at 68 degrees internal temperature. So we'll keep an eye on that. The goal is to get it up to about 115 degrees. Once it hits 115 degrees, I'm gonna probably put it on the sear box and just sear it for like two, three minutes on each side. And then we'll go take it off, let it rest for 10 minutes, and we'll be ready to eat. See how it turns out. I'm excited to try it out. We have it at 350 now for a little while. I've got an internal temperature of about 130 degrees. I decided to go a little bit longer on the internal temperature just by feel. Still pretty soft. Now I've got the uh, Camp Chef sear box sitting on high. Just kind of burning off some of the old residue that I have on there, but I'm gonna reverse sear this tri-tip now. Just do a couple minutes on each side. We should be ready to eat here pretty soon. Time check, 7.10. A few minutes before we change sides. Flip her over. Time check, 7.13, three minutes. Ready for the flip. Woo Look at those grill marks. Give it another two or three minutes and we will be good. That, folks, is the finished product. That is an elk tri-tip and it's all its glory. What do you want? Somebody wants my tri-tip. The tri-tip has been resting for about 10 minutes. Sitting here on the cutting board. Looks very good. Got some nice Beautiful sear marks on it. I'm gonna cut into this sucker and see how it tastes. Getting it on the vlog. Oh God. Ugh. 
cooks pretty good uh, for the inaugural test. Take a piece right in the middle, about medium rare, nice and juicy. Wow. Very, very, very good, babe. It's good. Right? Mm-hmm. Verdict is in. Give it a thumbs up. Super easy to make. I'll leave the dry rub and kind of the, like the directions below in the link. But if you happen to get yourself an elk or a deer this coming fall, make sure you request from the butcher to have them cut the tri-tips. Absolutely beautiful piece of meat. Cooked beautifully. Tastes delicious. So we're gonna pair this with some uh, vegetables, some potatoes. A little bit of veggies right there. That's gonna round out the meal. If you haven't watched any of our other cooking videos, check them out. We'll leave them at the end right here and right here. So there's gonna be one on this side, and there's gonna be one on this side. And then right in the middle, there's a big circular logo that says Hush. You can hit that one to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.